Okay, moving on to the next item or common errors. Um, so these common errors are, were present in your first higher level essay outline and some people still made those same mistakes. Again, I just wrote an, a message to you that says, you know, see the higher level essay common errors and fixes under the semester one resources tab. Uh, you can look through that and you can see how to fix things uh, there. If you have any further questions, please make sure you attend student support. All right, a couple quick reminders about your actual essay. Um, please make sure that you're typing directly in the assigned document. That allows me to kind of help you as you compose. If you're writing it in a separate document, then I can't see anything, right? And that kind of slows down the process. Um, I'm gonna show you how, what I mean by remove the instructions from your uh, essay uh, template in a second. Um, but the most important thing is, you know, please look back at the errors that you made in your first higher level essay uh, and work to avoid them, right? Specifically, look at that uh, writing goal setting sheet that we worked on together, right? You said you were gonna use specific strategies to kind of eliminate those types of errors. You know, go back, review what you said you were gonna do and try using those to see, to mark your progress. Um, so for the remove the instructions from your essay template, what I mean by that, right, is this is what this template looks like before you start adding things in, right? Literally paste over top of things, your answers. So, you know, IB candidate number, if you're officially testing, right, not your name, right? So ABC123, or, um, sorry, if you are not testing, right, it would be your student ID number, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, whatever those are. Um, leave the title as HL essay, but where it says question addressed in the line of inquiry in the essay, like you should be able to copy and paste in your actual question over top of that where it says start your essay, literally start your essay there, right? After you've completely finished your essay, select just the essay parts itself, right? Not the question up here. Select your paragraphs, go to tools. Um, yeah, go to tools and select word count and then put in the word count next to the colon where it says word count colon, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see the next part. When you get to the part about the Works Cited page, right? remember that there is the information and resources in the Noodle Tools and Works Cited tutorial that I put together for you, which is listed under the Semester 1 resources. If you struggle with that or need some help, please, again, attend the student support, and I'll work through that with you if need be. And again, these are those times when I'm available during student support next week. Uh, if you'd like to go over your outline or help you with your essay, etc. Just please make sure that you're using the student support Zoom link to do that. And that is it for this week. Uh, you should be working towards completing your high level essay that is due on Saturday, March 13th before midnight. Again, if you have any questions, please join student support during one of these times.